Hi guys! Okay, so today I'm going to be doing another look in my Pretty Little Liar series. And this one I'm so excited about because I love like bold lips, whether it's bright or like a deep burgundy or anything like that. I just love bold lips, so this was like really, really fun. Um, so this look is Jenna Marshall, which I was like so excited to do. Um, Jenna Marshall is played by Tamin Sursok on the, yeah, on Pretty Little Liars. <laughs> Duh. Um, and something I really didn't know about her that I found, like, I was, like, researching how to pronounce her name. I hope I pronounced it right. She's Australian. Did anybody know that? Because I didn't know that. And that was, like, really weird. All of a sudden, like, I'm watching this interview and she's talking about how she used to be on this, like, soap opera or whatever. Um, and it was in Australia. And so I googled it. And, like, it was, like, an Australian thing. And I'm like... You're Australian? Like, what? I didn't know that, because you wouldn't guess it from the show. I mean, like, she doesn't have an accent or anything, so I found that, like, that was really weird. Um, but yeah, she is, like, so gorgeous, and I really like her character. A lot of people hate her character because she's so, like, mean on the show, but she does a really good job of it. I mean, like, think about it. She does a good job of being mean, so I say props to her. Um... So anyway, this look is like really mostly focused on the lips. The eyes are really, really neutral. I play down the eyes a lot, and I had a lot of fun with the lip color. I thought it was really fun. So um, I hope you all enjoy, and let's get into the tutorial. So as always, I'm going to start off with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And I'm just going to take this a little bit on my lid and um, put it all over my eye <laughs> um, yeah and I'm not gonna take any of it under just because I'm not gonna be putting any shadow or anything under next I'm gonna take Max all that glitters eyeshadow with a Mac 239 brush and I'm just gonna take this and start it like right here and put it over the rest of the lid I'm going to leave the first, like, third of my eye or whatever open. Next, I'm going to take Woodwinked by MAC with this Sonia Kashuk crease brush. And I'm going to take some of that and I'm just going to put this in my crease. But make sure that it doesn't go too far up here. We want to keep it right in the crease. Because this, the eyes are supposed to be very subtle and natural. I'm going to take a little bit more and just kind of like work that into the outer V. Next, with my 224 blending brush from MAC, I'm just going to blend out this line so it's not like a super harsh cut crease, but still not blending it too far up here. Next, with MAC's Brulee eyeshadow, I'm just going to take that on a Sonia Kashuk brush and put this under my brow and then get a little bit more and put it on the inner corner and kind of take it in sorry that was my phone kind of take it into that first color right there next I'm gonna take this Maybelline Expert Wear um, it's like an eyeliner but it's an eyebrow pencil it's like technically uses both I'm gonna use it as eyeliner today because I ran out of my other brown liner that I was supposed to use for this look um, and this is just in light brown. Looks like that. That looks like. And I'm just going to take this and kind of smudge it into like the outer half of my eye. But I don't want to bring it in any more than like right here. That's where I want to stop it. I'm going to try and stay in frame for this. And I know you're not supposed to tug on your eye. Oh well, sue me. I'm not good at putting on eyeliner like this. <laughs> and then I'm just going to take a little bit on my lower lash line. Just like a, the tiniest bit though. You don't want to put a lot on and I don't know why. I have bags under my eyes. I didn't sleep very well last night. Next I'm going to take my Sally Hansen eyelash curler and curl my lashes. <laughs> obviously. And... 
Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Define a Lash Mascara, and this is in brownish black. And I'm going to take this and put a really light coat of this on. I don't want to like over exaggerate my lashes too much for this because the focus isn't really supposed to be on the eyes. The eyes are supposed to complement the lips in this look. I'm just kidding, I made that up, but I think that's true personally. And then she wasn't wearing anything on her lower lashes or anything under her eyes. Sorry, that was my phone again. Um, but I really don't feel complete unless I'm wearing at least the tiniest bit of mascara on my lower lashes. So I'm just going to put a little bit. But um, she wasn't wearing anything, so you don't have to wear anything if you don't want to. Do you guys hear that thunder outside? It's like scaring me so much. <laughs> My eyes look green! Why do they look green? My eyes are so blue. Um, so next I'm going to take this really pretty plum color. It's called A Plum? A Plum? I don't know. It's from Lancome. And my MAC 129. And I'm just going to take some of that and focus it. Sorry, I'm talking really loud. And focus it not on the apples of your cheeks like when you smile. You know the apples? You want to kind of place it under there. Um, but I'm just going to be placing it under there and then working it up. But I'm not going to be putting it on the apples. It's going to go kind of like on the lower part. Like that. Oh wait, I have to do my other cheek. <laughs> Duh. I always put blush on the apples of my cheeks, so now like putting it under kind of like feels weird to me, but I don't know. Okay, so then next comes the lips, and this is my favorite part. This is like kind of the focal point of the look. Jenna's signature lips are always like dark, like burgundies and reds, and just really pretty like darker colors, like fall colors is what they remind me of. So I'm going to take first this... Lip pencil from MAC in Chicory, and it looks like that. And I'm just gonna take that, and I'm gonna need a mirror for this, unless I want like a jagged line going like that, like a jack o' lantern on my lips. Um, yeah, I'm gonna take that and line my lips. What I really like about lining my lips and using a lip liner is that my lips are super super thin so being able to line my lips kind of like lets me cheat a little bit to make them fuller which I personally really like it's like lightning out there that's so crazy Now that my lips are lined, I'm going to fill them in. I look so weird right now. Oh, it's storming outside. Excuse my dog's barking. I'm really sorry about that. Too. So now I'm going to fill in my lips. <laughs> So then after that, I'm going to take Max Spice It Up, and it's just a really nice, like, brownish red, I guess, and I'm just going to apply that to my lips. <laughs> I'm not going to put any gloss over this, just because Jenna's lips are most of the time, they're matte, so I won't be putting any gloss on. But I'm going to take a Kleenex and 
I'm going to take a Kleenex and just fold it in half and go like that so then it like gets residue off so it looks more matte and then I like to just like pat my lips like that and you can do that thing where you stick your finger in your mouth but I get really grossed out by that so I'm not going to do it I'm just going to hope that it doesn't get on my teeth okay so this is the finished look for Jenna Marshall is it Marshall or Marshalls? I think it's Marshall. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And I really love this. Especially for fall, it would be really fun. But I think I'd want to like do something more dramatic with my eyes. But the picture that I have, her eyes aren't very dramatic at all. It's mostly focused on the lips. So, yeah. <laughs> Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, and it will be linked down below. All the videos that I've done already in the series on Emily, Spencer, Hannah, and Aria will be linked down below. And subscribe if you want to so you can see my next video, um, which I'm guessing most of you will probably know who it is. But if you don't, then subscribe so you can find out. And um, like the video if you liked it. Comment if you would like. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.